So I get this question a lot. When you're studying for your CCNA, what labbing program do you use? You actually got a lot of options, but the two main ones are Packet Tracer and GNS3. If you don't know what those are, GNS3 is this open source third party thing that was built a long time ago. And it was really the first of its kind. It's really cool, but you actually use real Cisco images to build your lab. And it kind of emulates the Cisco uh, router in, uh, in GNS3. Up until very recently, you couldn't do any kind of switching, which really sucked when you're trying to do your CCMP. But it was good for CCNA, some topics. But now you can actually do switching, which I've been playing around with, and it's, it's awesome. Uh, so that's GNS3. So you actually, you, you, you do need Cisco iOS images, which you have to obtain, obtain through uh, cisco.com. You have to be, you have to have a login. You have to, you know, be licensed to actually download this stuff. So it can be kind of hard to find it if you don't know how to Google search for it, right? And then Packet Tracer was, is Cisco's uh, offering, right? So it's, um, it's not really an emulator, it's a simulator. So you're not r really running Cisco iOS or anything like that. It's just a computer simulation that allows you to enter commands and it, it does all this kind of cool stuff. I've always been a huge advocate of Packet Tracer because it's really simple. GNS3 can be hard to set up. If you're not familiar with you know, VMware, if you're not familiar with really a lot of stuff, that if you're just kind of just coming into Cisco and you're, you're kind of new at everything, it can be daunting. When I first had to set up GNS3, I had help. And even then, it was really hard. So Cisco is Packet Tracer's thing. It used to only be for Net Academy of students, which Net Academy is Cisco's school for network engineers, if you want to go down that path. But it used to be that you had to be a Network Academy student to get access to Packet Tracer. Now, again, if you're good at Googling around and and you knew how to find it, you could find it. And you could download it and you can use it. And it was great. So I actually used Packet Tracer extensively for my CCNA and my CSENT, in case you're wondering. But now it's completely free. You could actually just go to netacademy.com or just Google Packet Tracer. Uh, you sign up for Net Academy. It's a free account. Um, they give you kind of like a course to learn uh, Packet Tracer. And you can download Packet Tracer. It's available for Windows. It's available for uh, Linux. Sorry, Mac users. So I have to actually uh, run, run my Windows and VMware Fusion to, to use Packet Tracer. Or you can just get Linux going. Linux is free. But now it's completely free. And uh, they even have a mobile app. You can actually install this on your iPhone. I think it might be on Android. I'm not sure. Uh, and it, it's, it's not as easy to use on the uh, computer as, as on the computer, but it's, it works. You can actually you know, throw a switch out there, throw a router out there, and it does a lot. In the latest versions, I was playing with it yesterday. You can even use like IoT stuff. You can throw like a lamp in there. You can throw. Uh, <laughs> you can throw light bulbs and stuff like that and do IoT labs. I'm not sure how far it goes into it, but you can you can do this stuff. What the one of the biggest things I love about Packet Tracer is how you can kind of uh, pause the network and then you can ping and you can watch your packet go through the network and and actually open it and look at all the different headers and see how it goes through the uh, de encapsulation encapsulation process. So if you're just getting into your CSENT or CCNA. Seeing this unfold for you, it's like, it's magical. <laughs> it's really fun. So if you think I'm crazy, you don't know what I'm talking about, go right now. Go to pa Google Packet Tracer. I'll put a link below to Net Academy. You can download it for free and try it out. God, I think I'm dr uh, drinking too much coffee. But it's, it's really, really fun. Now, on the other hand, GNS3 offers the same kind of thing. It's not as intuitive. So you, you can use um, uh, Wireshark, which if you don't know what Wireshark is, Wireshark is used to uh, sniff packets. So if I were to install Wireshark on my computer, click capture, it'll capture all the network traffic going across my computer, my ethernet link or my Wi-Fi connection, what have you. It's used a lot for network engineers and you'll, you'll find out, trust me, to uh, troubleshoot network issues if you wanna get into a packet, see what's going on. So you can actually use that with, with GNS3, which I have used and it's, it's amazing. So. I would say, so when it, when, you, when it comes to GNS3 or Packet Tracer for your CCNA, if you're just getting started and CSENT, CCNA, you're, 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 you've never been exposed to network engineering before, it's a no-brainer for you guys. Do Packet Tracer. It's the easiest setup. You'll be set up and ready to go within five minutes. Download, launch, install throw a router out there, bam, you, you've got it. It even gives you a little interface where you can actually uh, click the physical switch to turn it on and off. It's kind of a little little thing you can do. It's, it's geeky. But you, you can, it gives you a lot of stuff you can play with. 
It, trust me, it contains everything you need for your CSINT or your CCNA certification. It truly does. It, I think they even have like ASAs on there. So it might be a lot of what you need for your CCNA security. Not really sure, so don't quote me on that. Now, the reason I say Packet Tracer is uh, studying for your CSINT or CCNA is hard enough as it is. You're, you're learning a whole new world. If you're coming from a help desk, if you're starting from scratch from another industry, it's a, it's a huge mind shift for you. You're having to learn a ton of stuff. And you wanna remove as many of the barriers as you can so you can just get to the learning. You can start learning the topics as soon as you can. That's why I love Packet Tracer. It's the fastest way for you to get in there. And one of the things I always tell people, the most important part of studying for your CCNA is labbing. Labbing, labbing, labbing. Packet Tracer makes it so easy to do this. It's the easiest application you can use to lab. Now, on the other hand, GNS3. I love GNS3. So when I'm, when I'm labbing for my stuff, whether I'm studying for voice or uh, my CCMP or what have you, I'm using GNS3. You're using real iOS, uh, both router and switch. They even have it now, and this is, it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, you can install little Linux Ubuntu containers that are, it's got Ubuntu and Linux already installed on it, or U Ubuntu is Linux, so don't get confused if you <laughs> I'm just kind of using those terms synonymously. Ubuntu is a flavor of Linux. Um, but you can just load these little docket, you can actually download it from GNS3, they have a whole library of appliances, and you can just download it on, you just throw it onto your topology, and all of a sudden you've got a, a real life Ubuntu machine. Another cool thing about GNS3, you can, you, ah, getting a little tongue-tied, I'm getting excited. Another cool thing about GNS3 is you can actually connect this to your real network. You can connect your router to the internet. You can actually NAT through your laptop to your router. It's, so you can, you can build this amazing topology, this lab in GNS3, and connect it to real physical equipment or the internet. It's, it's pretty cool. And if you're learning other stuff like Juniper, uh, Palo Alto, F5, they've got appliances on GNS3's website where you can actually download, install, and use these as well. So if you're using multi-vendor, uh, if, you're, if you're trying to practice multi-vendor environments or, or learn about F5 or Palo Alto, which I've all used and it's really great stuff, I know, not Cisco, but hey, Cisco's not the only guy out there. It is the best one out there and uh, Cisco for life. But uh, there, are, there are possibilities and, and you are going to use different vendors for different things. So it's good to have that. And GNS3 is fantastic for Python. So if you ever take, get a chance to look at David Bombel's Python for Network Engineers, you'll be using GNS3 heavily. And it's so easy to just spin up this little contained environment, get a router, get a switch, get like a Ubuntu Linux uh, application or appliance, and you can program switches and routers uh, from Python right there in the Linux box. It's really, really cool. So GNS3 has its uses, but is it good for CCNA? Uh, only if you've used it before. Um, and, and, if, and if you're familiar with it, because otherwise it'll be a huge barrier to you. Uh, setup is can be frustrating if you're not already familiar with that environment, because you're gonna have to, it involves getting VirtualBox or VMware Fusion or VMware uh, Workstation set up. So you may not wanna go that way right away. And even if you are familiar with uh, GNS3, Packet Tracer just is really easy. Uh, there is one like huge downside to Packet Tracer, and uh, I even experienced this when I was testing out uh, David Bombo's lab, is that sometimes it's just clunky. Because you're, remember, you're not running real Cisco IOS, so it won't necessarily behave like real Cisco IOS. So there might be a computer glitch as you're connecting different networks, and you might have an OSPF neighbor relationship that uh, won't establish. Or if it does establish, it's not going to advertise its routes or things like that. And you'll spend time troubleshooting this issue, and you've done everything perfectly, but it's just a glitch. So you, you know, re-entering the commands or doing on a shut, no shut on the interface fixes it. So keep that in mind. Packet Tracer is known to be a bit buggy. And yeah, so is GNS3, but I haven't really experienced those uh, same kind of weird issues on GNS3 as I have seen on Packet Tracer. But to answer your question, to kind of sum all this up, if you're new to CCNA, new to CSENT, and you just want to hit the ground running, get Packet Tracer right now. And get Packet Tracer and look at David Bumble's course on his labs he offers for Packet Tracer. So, I mean, I'm telling you, I so wish I would have had this. It's so amazing. He gives you every lab, well, he gives you, he gives you so many labs to go through and walk through in Packet Tracer. So what he'll do is he'll, he'll throw up a topology, which you can actually download. He gives you the download file for it. And he'll say, configure this. 
and he'll give you the kind of the, the lab worksheet. And uh, you can try it yourself, try your hand at it, and then he will do a walkthrough in the next video. So this is, this is perfect for CCNA, CSENT candidates. It's, it's awesome. Which again, in this video, I am giving five, five of these uh, training packages away. The uh, CCNA Labs for Packet Tracer from David Bomble, so check it out. So today, if you want to win the David Bomble Packet Tracer CCNA Lab, blah, 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 I keep calling it something different, but it's Packet Tracer CCNA Labs. Essentially, that's what it is. If you wanna win this, here is how you enter. Five giving away today. This one's gonna be on Twitter. I want you to go on Twitter, and if you don't have Twitter, Get Twitter, dude, it's not hard. God, stop being so weird. <laughs> social media is fun. Let's be social. Uh, go on Twitter, and I want you to tweet at me, so at Network Chuck, and just tell me why you want it, why you need it, how it's going to help you, and I will pick five winners today. Well, guys, that's about it. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.